Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video we're going to be testing the lateral collateral ligament of the knee. It's a varus stress test. Our indications for this, well one, it's routine in the knee examination. Um, and mainly if patient is complaining of knee instability or pain to the lateral aspect, this will be tested also. We're looking for signs of laxity and we are also looking for pain reproduction, the patient's pain. So how do we do it? You can either put a pillow under the knee, so we get to sort of 15, 20 degrees of knee flexion, or what I like to do is just pop my knee under the patient's knee, and this is our starting position. We're putting a bit of slack on the knee, so other structures of the knee can't help out with the integrity of the test. We want to try and isolate the LCL, the lateral collateral ligament, as much as we can. From here, our stabilizing hand is going to cup onto the inside, the medial aspect, and our other hand, this is the one that's gonna be providing the stress, is gonna come above the lateral malleolus. From here, we just provide a virus stress by trying to bring this heel towards the other shin, and that's going to stress the outside of the knee. So, do we use this a lot? Yes. It's routine to the examination. Um, do we find it useful? It can be really useful in detecting the patient's pain and the laxity. It's also, um, you're gonna find in asymptomatic people, this one can be quite loose and lax anyway. But anything that is deemed excessive laxity, comparing left to right, um, needs to be thought about and whether a surgical opinion is indicated. Often it's not. So, with that in mind, let's talk about some tips. So the first thing, similar to the MCL test, is it's easy to fool yourself into thinking you've done a virus or valgus with excessive hip rotation. So I can press through here and I can think I've done a really good job, but actually all I've done is just rotate the leg out. So we need to make sure that this hand, the proximal hand is stabilizing. And what you can do with your other hand is internally rotate the tibia a little, just to lock it off and then bring it across and you should find that gives you a much more clear, crisp feeling of what's happening on the lateral aspect. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon on Clinical Physio.